Happy uh, Sunday and happy last day of May to everybody. Hope you've all had a great weekend. We've had several days of just beautiful weather. So um, hope you were able to get outside and enjoy some of that this weekend. I titled this The Power of 30 Days. And what I wanted to talk about was the decision I made um, almost two and a half years ago to work on my health. And how, you know, my health coach had shared the program with me that I now coach. And um, I had told her when I signed up for it, I was like, I just want you to know I'm giving this 30 days because I really, I was not one to, um, you know, my whole life I had, you know, really been in pretty good health until, you know, life got busy and uh, I developed some bad habits and I gained weight over seven to 10 years. and. I had tried losing weight a few times and just found that it was just too much work. You know, just all the meal prep, all the, the planning, all the thinking, all of that. I didn't have time for all that. And so I would do it for 30 days and then I would quit and, um, you know, just give up on myself. And so I told her, I was like, you know what, I'm going to try this for 30 days and just see what happens. And we laugh about it now because when I said that, she's thinking in the back of her mind, yeah. I know what's going to happen in 30 days and you're going to continue for another 30 days and then another 30 days after that. And that's exactly what happened. But I just wanted to share with you what happened to me in those 30 days. So when I started program, um, I was not, hey, Nita, thanks for joining. I, I was just in a bad place and like I didn't even sleep all night. I would wake up all during the night. My joints would be hurting my hip my knees, uh, my feet, uh, I, my hands, both hands and arms, they would, they would go numb from like my elbows down and I just did not get good sleep. And I would wake up, I'd be tired no matter what time I went to bed or what time I got up, I would just be tired because I didn't get any sleep. It wasn't quality sleep. I can remember getting up, um, you know, in the middle of the night, laying there awake for an hour, my back hurting, hip, you know, and I was like, well, let me just go to the couch. And so I'd get up and go to the couch and, and I might go back to sleep for an hour and then I'd wake up again and I would go move to the bed. So I was wearing out the floor between my bed and my couch every night and still not getting good sleep. And um, when I started this program in my first 30 days, I noticed a huge shift in my sleep. I was um, back to where I would sleep all night, and when I would wake up in the mornings, just just in the matter of a couple of weeks, I would just feel so much better. I would wake up feeling refreshed and ready to start the day. Um, something else that that I had was, um, you know, I had a crepe. I have a sweet tooth, <laughs> and um, as I went through the program, the craving for sugar went away. And I think I was surprised by that too. I used to eat a lot of fried foods and now it's rare. Like maybe once every six months I might eat some, something fried. Um, I changed the way that I prepared my meals and that happened very quickly. Um, one of the things I love about this program that I coach is that it's so convenient and so easy. So even if you have a busy lifestyle like I do, it fit that lifestyle because it's a lot of grab and go stuff. It teaches you how to really plan ahead. Um, you learn how you can go to a restaurant and order healthy. Like you don't have to eat bad when you go out to a restaurant. You can still go out with friends. You can still have that social um, time. You can still, you know, do those things and still make healthy choices. So that was one of the things that I learned in my first 30 days was, hey, if I go out to eat, I can still make a great choice and have a wonderful meal, enjoy my friends, um, and you know that that was that was good for me because you know I I didn't cook a lot. I cook more now than I did then, but still, I mean, I, I still go out to eat sometimes. Right now, I'm I'm doing the the call in and pick up, but um, but you know, it just really helped me learn how to prepare healthy foods at home and you know now when i shop in the grocery store i'm mostly shopping the perimeter and you might say what does that mean michelle that means i'm shopping produce and meat um you know i'm getting vegetables you know i'm i'm picking up some eggs and i'm picking up these healthy things i'm not going up and down the aisles 
um, which is where a lot of times you find all the unhealthy stuff. Um, so, um, hey, Caden. Hey, hey, Claire. Hey, Jessica. Um, but, you know, it, it really uh, changed my mindset. And so, just in 30 days. So, the first couple of weeks that I was on program, I started noticing changes in my body. But I think it was probably around week three. And it's really something you, you don't even really have words to describe what you feel. But it was like the inside of me was changing. And I don't know how to explain it any way other than that. But, like, I had probably lost eight pounds maybe by the end. Um, maybe beginning the end of that week two, the beginning of week three, maybe seven pounds, somewhere around there. But I felt like I had lost 20. My clothes were fitting better. Um, you know, my joints were beginning to not ache quite so much. I, I mean, I was still, you know, having a, a little bit of joint pain, especially when I played tennis. Um, you know, all that, that pounding on my feet. Um, they would still bother me, but I was noticing differences. I had more energy. Like I would, before I would get off work and, and make it home and I would I would just say, well, I'm going to sit on the couch for 10 minutes. You know, I need that little break. I would sit on the couch for 10 minutes and I would never get up until it was time to go to bed. So, <laughs> you know, but what I noticed after just a couple of weeks, I had the energy that after work, I was ready to do something. You know, I wasn't just coming home and sitting on the couch. I was coming home and getting things done. Um, and so I wanted to show you a little picture. This, uh, this picture I posted on March 12th of 2018. So I had just been on program about a month. I started January, no, I had been on about two months. So I had started January 8th. This, this picture was taken, um, I think it was taken like the first week of March. So I wanted to show that to you. Let's see. All right, so the one over here, whoop, that one. <laughs> That's when I started program, January 8th. And this was taken just two months different. Um, and so that's the power of what can happen in a very short time. And then I want to show you this. So um, this is another one. So this is the same picture from March of 2018. The other picture, that was taken just a couple of weeks ago. And so not only did I reach my goal weight in just like six months, I lost almost 60 pounds in six months. But this program taught me those healthy habits so that now almost two years later, I'm still in my best health. I'm still working towards health goals, but I've not been on a yo-yo. So, you know, I have gotten to my where I want to be, that weight where I feel my absolute best. But through this program, I learned those healthy habits so that now I don't have to worry about going back to this side over here. I don't have to worry about that because I've learned those healthy habits. I've incorporated them. I've learned how to eat healthy for life. I make great choices. Um, you know, like I said, every now and then I might have something fried. Every now and then I might have a little ice cream. I might have a dessert. Um, but for the most part, I would say 95% of the time I'm eating healthy. Um, and I love it. So, you know, I can't imagine going back to anything different. I eat six times a day which was a healthy habit I also created through this program. I drink 80 to 100 ounces of water every day. I don't drink near the caffeine I used to because I, I simply don't need it. I still have to have my coffee in the morning. So I just don't think I could ever give that up. I, I mean, I probably could, but who wants to? So um, I still do that, but just the power of 30 days. So I would say, you know, if you've been sitting on the fence wondering about it, you know, just give me a call or text me. Um, would love to just have a chat with you to see if what I coach is something you're looking for. Um, tonight is, today is the last day for our new client incentive. So would love for you to reach out today and let's get on it. Um, I also wanted to share this with you because I think this is so inspirational. I know I posted earlier, um, hey, Angela, I can't wait either. Hey, Cookie. Thank you, Becky. Um, I, I know I posted just a little bit ago that I attended my mom's church today for their uh, opening service in their new sanctuary. 
and just the the um the sermon today there was just i took a lot of notes but these are just some inspiring things so i just want to encourage you today if you're if you're wanting to accomplish something not just in your health but in life in general in your spiritual walk um, in your job, in your careers, in school, you know, whatever it is you're working towards, I just want to give you a little encouragement, just some notes that I took today. Um, so one of them was, you know, he was talking about how this pandemic has changed things a lot of times. And, you know, a lot of us are saying we want things to go back to normal. And, and one of the things, and I agree with this so much, is don't go back to normal. Go forward to greater. And I thought, how how true is that? You know, don't go back to normal. Like, okay, so if I had, you know, finished this health program, you know, in July of 2018, lost the weight, and I had gone back to normal, back to what I was before, I would have gained all that weight back. But I didn't. I moved forward it to greater. I set greater goals. I set more health goals, not just weight goals, but I set health goals, and I'm continually working towards new health goals and that that's how you get better is by reaching for greater one of the other things he said was be focused but don't be, be finished you know you don't have to give up you don't have to be finished just be focused on what you want um, instead of working through the hard times a lot of times people just say i'm through but don't do that you know if you've got something you're working towards don't just throw in the towel when things get hard. You know, there's an old saying, when the when the going gets tough, the tough get going. You know, don't throw in the towel and just give up. You know, um, instead of, of um, saying I'm through, work through. You know, push through and reach it to where you want to go. Um, one of the other things he did was he read this scripture in Philippians 3 and 13. And I'm going to read it to you. This is Paul. And he says... Um, let me find it. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and reaching forward to what is ahead. So, you know, don't dwell on those things you did yesterday that didn't go so well. You know, if you had something that you were working towards and you let the hard days uh, just make you throw in the towel, Forget what's behind. Reach forward to where you're going now. Reach forward for the next thing. Reach forward for what you want to accomplish next. And, and stay true to that, even in the hard times. Um, one of the things he said, too, was that during this time, the Lord made us hit the reset button. So I would just encourage you, if there's things that, that happened yesterday or even today, hit the reset button. You can start fresh. You can start right now and start fresh working towards your goal. Um, and then he told a story of Michael Jordan um, from the Chicago Bulls back in the, the 90s heyday. Um, and he was, they were playing in the championship games. It was game five. They were playing against Utah Jazz. And Michael Jordan woke up that morning with the flu and was just sick as he could be, you know, and he had a decision to make. What was it going to be? He had a fever. Um, he was he was nauseous, he was weak, but he had a decision. Was he going to let that stop him or was he going to push through and get in the game? And what Michael Jordan did was he made a decision. Regardless of how I feel, I'm going to get in the game. And so he made up his mind. So I would encourage you today, make up your mind and get in the game. It doesn't matter how you feel. It doesn't, you know, don't live by just your feelings because feelings can um deceive you um you know don't live by those feelings so um if you persevere through adversity you will score the winning shot and so whatever you're working towards if you will push through those obstacles whatever those are and i will promise you a lot of times we are our own obstacle so if you'll push through those obstacles you'll score the winning score you'll you'll make that winning shot for whatever it is you're reaching for. Um, and then play with a fever to win. Now, I'm not saying be sick, but there, there's a um, correlation there. Play with a fever, 
a fever, that drive, you know, that drive to succeed. Play with the fever to win. And then um, what? think about what you can accomplish if you just make the decision to get off the bench and get in the game. So I hope those thoughts encourage you today. You know, um, if there's things that you want to work for, uh, you know, make a decision to get off the bench and get in the game and allow yourself to embrace the obstacle as the way, even if you are your own obstacle. And so use that obstacle, use whatever it takes to push through. And as Paul said, forget what's behind and grab hold and, and push forward um, to what's ahead of you. And so I hope that encourages you tonight. Um, you know, just uh, be encouraged today. You can accomplish whatever it is you want to accomplish. You have to make the decision and then you have to daily make the decision to do it um, and to work towards those. Sometimes you have to push a little bit. Sometimes you have to use discouragement to fuel that passion. Um, and sometimes you have to um, play with a fever um, in order to accomplish what you want to accomplish. So I hope that encourages you. Have a great night and start off June strong. Y'all have a good day.